Hey, this is Alex. Today I'm going to be reading from the first chapter of Girl Shattered. Girl Shattered is the intro to my full length novel available in ebook and print on September 1st. This is Girl in the Mirror, September 1st, but Girl Shattered on August 1st. This is a novella that introduces you to the main character of Girl in the Mirror, and this will be in ebook format. So, without ado, and I'll go ahead and start reading you the first chapter. My breakfast turned somersaults in my stomach as I drove my red beetle to the bookstore for my date. I looked into my side mirror, catching a glimpse at my unusually pale face. You are sick, my reflection spoke to me. I ignored her turning into the small parking lot. I placed a brown knee-length boot to the pavement as I exited my beetle. I checked my appearance in the glass, patting my afro into perfect roundness and touching up my apricot lip gloss. I was meeting Alicia. We connected online about two weeks ago and she'd really blown me away. I'm ever the sucker for a creative mind. She delivered poetry to my email inbox on a consistent basis. Her feminine appearance betrayed her aggressive nature. She had been extremely persistent about meeting since our first phone call. Possibly I was confusing her nature with her upbringing. She was from New York. Wasn't every New York native a bit pushy? Her accent, in combination with her wordplay, quickly did me in, and her pictures didn't hurt. With Puerto Rican and Jamaican lineage, her look was exotic. Her hair and skin were nearly the exact same shade of burnt caramel. Her hair hung past her shoulders in perfect ringlets, though in most pictures, her hair was pulled back into a ponytail, highlighting the strong features of her ancestors. I put her off initially for the ever-present and equal, equally talented Cameron, another poet I met online first, but Alicia's tenacity won me over. Cam, as she liked to be called, was very interested in learning me. We'd exchanged emails, building the type of intimacy Alicia and I had yet to create. Cam not only wanted to know who I was, but how I evolved and who I ultimately planned to be. She encouraged my love for photography, had a mature approach to relationships and family. Yeah, she was damn near perfect. What was the issue? We were stagnant. After some point, any wannabe online romance seemed to progress to a face-to-face -face meeting. After a month or so of email, it was time. It was beyond time. She'd given me her number, but never asked for mine. And well, a girl likes to feel as though she's worth a bit of effort. Pursue me, damn it. Her nonchalance was a turn off. So here I am, with the heels of my boots clicking against the pavement and my stomach sounding a silent alarm to meet Alicia. I recognized her immediately as I approached the empty patio surrounding the bookstore. She was slim. No ass, no hips, no breasts. Well, just nipples, it seemed. She was clearly not wearing a bra, by the way. They poked against the fabric of a well-worn tee. Wasn't she cold? Her face was gorgeous. The pictures did not do her justice. Her cheekbones gave nod to her Jamaican ancestry. Large, dark green eyes were filled with excitement when she recognized me. A crooked smile full of perfectly straight white teeth made the hairs on my arms stand against my leather jacket. She was undeniably sexy. That was the first chapter of Girl Shattered, available August 1st at your favorite ebook store. For only 99 cents, pick it up.